you're back for more sci-fi here on Buzz Jump. I'm Dan Salem, and I'm diving through the world of Black Mirror. We're back in season four, episode four, Hang the DJ. I don't really know why it's called that. It doesn't have a lot of bearing on the amazing sci-fi paradox presented to us, a la the world of love. I'm Mandy. I'm Dan. Subscribe to Buzz Chomp. Woo! Woo! This episode of Black Mirror delves into what it means to be a perfect match and if a dating app could determine a perfect match for you and therefore you would give up your free will in pursuing those means, right? So this is a dual layered episode, which I absolutely love. I love the paradoxical nature of what we're watching transposed with what it ends up being at the end of the episode. I'm going to spoil it because it's not fun talking about it if I don't spoil the ending. But the show begins and Frank and Amy have entered themselves into... Well, actually, no, they don't have... Entered, they haven't willingly entered themselves into anything. They are part of the system in which matches you up with your perfect match. They want like a... I think it's a 98.9 match or 98.6% match. It's some, some number close to 99%, but not exactly 99%, just because it's funny and interesting. And so you're trying to find a perfect match. And the idea is you have to date people for, and, and at the beginning of the period of the dating, you're told how long that this relationship will last. And it has to last that long and you live together with that person for that long. And in so doing, the algorithm and the AI learns how you deal with tough relationships, bad matches, perfect matches, all sex matches, and it learns you and what you like. And so Frank and Amy are matched up for their first date, and then by the end, they are matched up again, and then they break out of the system together because they don't want to be matched and put with someone that aren't themselves. And the, the mind-blowing part about all of this is that it's very kind of true to life, right? A lot of people may date someone or meet someone or know someone, but then they don't actually get together with them until later. Or you see the person that you want to be with and you latch on. Mandy and I, we met and we kind of knew we wanted to be together and that we weren't going to ever not be together. And here we are. We've been together forever. Frank and Amy met and they kind of just had that look in their eye like this was going to be forever. Yet the system forced them to stop the relationship, date other people. Then they got to date themselves again. And then Frank messed it up because he looked at the time, but there shouldn't have been a time to look at. And then he didn't want it to end, so then they escaped, right? So here's the major part of the spoiler. They escape the system into a void in which a ton of other versions of Frank and Amy have also escaped the system. Superimpose that back out to the top level and the actual dating app being used in real life to create your match ran these test cases to determine who Frank's perfect match and Amy's perfect match would be based on putting them into, like based on all the people that signed up for the dating app, running the numbers and having them date virtually in the system like we watched the whole episode. And then 98.6% of the time, Frank and Amy escaped the, 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 uh, the system together, meaning they're a perfect match. And then Frank and Amy meet in real life at the end because they were matched by their dating app with a 98.6% accuracy based on all of the iterations the AI ran of them dating through the system and then all times ever escaping the system and breaking free to be together forever. So that's love. Frank and Amy wanted to be together so badly, 98.6% of the time, that they said F you to the whole world so that they could leave it together. And therefore, they were meant to be together. And so then they were matched at the end. I love this, I love this, I love this. It's, it's so interesting because the world of dating has blown up to epic proportions with all these different apps and trying to match you with people and then you're trying to match yourself. And the ones you actually have to pay for do the matching for you. That just kind of makes sense to me. Now, I found the person I wanted to be my, with all my life in my life. Or should I say, we found each other, life brought us together. And I kind of believe that life does that, it brings you together. Life brought Frank and Amy together, no matter the means in which it was took place in this episode. When you use a dating app and you're trying to pick for yourself, it is a 100% superficial decision. But if you let the system, the AI, determine for you based on what it knows about you, 
it will find a person that matches up with those things, whether or not you would have thought that person initially just by looking at a crappy photo and reading a BS description. You need to meet the person and have that connection. And you may never have gone on that date with them if it weren't for being forced set up through the system. Now we don't have that force because that would be kind of crazy and we don't live in a completely totalitarian society just yet. Hopefully never. But if you went with a dating app that matched you with someone and you went and had that date, a la Match or eCupid, the odds are it's gonna turn out much better than the other way, which is why these companies can propose that they have such high success rates because it's using a set of statistics and matching it up with someone else that should jive. This was one of my favorite Black Mirror episodes. I have no idea what the title is speaking to, but I loved where it ended up from where it began. I also love the system and the fact that you're told you have a 24 hours with this person. You're told you have a week with this person. Most of these relationships were just sexual because they were short and they didn't really like each other. Frank got stuck for five years with one woman that he absolutely hated and she hated him. They both hated each other from the minute that they saw each other. That's just like, I mean, people do it. That's the thing, this was so true to life that like people keep themselves in these awful relationships. And so then he was already forced to be into it, but at least he knew it was gonna end at some point and they couldn't have ended it fast enough. He ended up with his true love in the end, his perfect match. It's, lo it's lovely. This is such subtle science fiction. It's not true fiction. It's not true science, which is why it's science fiction. But all of it kind of already exists. We already all do it on our own. Layering the show like this was wonderful. I've been picking and choosing Black Mirror episodes kind of boom, boom, boom at random. And this one just jumped out at me like an AI dating. This is pretty cool. It was way, way better. Sometimes the descriptions of these episodes don't do them justice, and this one was tremendous. I'm Dan Salem. Subscribe to the Bush Jump YouTube channel for more great science fiction, television, all year long. And comment below, did you watch this episode? What do you think? I mean, are you online dating, and does this kind of speak to what you feel like or not? I have not, I've, I've had the pleasure of never having to go through that experience. Come back for more Bush Jump. Woo! Thanks for watching Buzz Chop. Subscribe and share. Subscribe and share. Subscribe and share. share. Woo.